how's it going everyone welcome to this episode of the vlog now this week i'm off uni and so it's a nice thought to think that i could just spend a whole week creating videos but that's not the case you know how it is i have a lot of architecture work to do it builds up and so i can either watch it build up or i can just try and slowly chip away at it a little bit at a time and try and keep on top of it so that's what i'm doing this morning i was doing a bit of essay work doesn't really make for the most interesting content so we'll put it aside and move on to something else <laughs> So today I have to finish off some of them sketches which we started in the previous episode. I have a bit of that to do so we'll get on with that today. And then for the rest of this episode I have no idea of where it's going to go. We'll just sort of see what happens. Recently I've been doing a lot of just sketching. Just like small studies of buildings and areas. Uh, these are what we did in the last episode. Just a, a study of a church and some urban sketching. But I've also done some more for this other project which I'll go ahead and show you now. So this is some quick simple sketching that I did for another project and these really didn't take long at all, probably about 5 minutes each and the purpose of these was just to illustrate a small part of this village. At the end of this video I'll show you a real simple quick technique that you can use to easily illustrate things like trees and bushes and uh, things like that in sketches. I've recently been doing a lot of drawing in this Faber-Castell sketch pad that I have and Faber-Castell make really good pencils but in terms of paper I mean it's just average it does the job for sketching in and stuff but I don't think I'd create any complete realistic drawings in this here's that um, perspective drawing that I did in the previous video but yeah I'm just going to use this to do a few sketches in and we'll see how that goes so like in the last video I'm going to be working from the photographs I had taken and I'll also put these photos on screen next to the drawing so you can see the difference between the drawing and the reference that I'm using so let's not waste any time let's get on with it <laughs> It's fair to say that this drawing has taken longer than I expected, about two hours to do this, but I mean I like the way that it turned out, it looks pretty good. I took a more realistic approach with this because in the last video I didn't really spend much time texturing and shading, detailing those drawings, I just left them more like outlines and basic sketches, so I thought I'd put a bit more effort into this and render it realistically for you. So I hope you enjoy it, I've got a few more to do, I'll take the same approach with the others. I don't actually know how much I'll be able to get done because because when I'm creating these drawings, the time just flies by, but I'll see what I can do. and usually I'd, I'd just throw this away but I've managed to get one of these pencil extenders and now I can just like put that in there and I can continue using this so these are really useful So 
so that is the second one done and uh, I probably didn't spend as much time on this one as I did with the first one but I'm a bit short for time anyways I need to get these finished so that will do just fine I'm probably going to do another one as well and um, but for now I might just take a little break because I've been drawing for about five hours straight all right so I'm going to go ahead and end this video by showing you that technique for drawing trees and foliage and all that but I just quickly want to go ahead and talk about some stuff regarding the way that I'm going to be putting the content together from now on so to give you an example this video that you're watching right now was originally a lot longer and then I decided to take some stuff out of it cut some stuff out because I felt like it wasn't really suitable for the actual title of the video so for instance drawing trees and foliage and um, a lot of people will click on this video expecting to learn that technique of how to draw trees and foliage and of course I know that there's a lot of you out there that keep up to date with these videos and you watch them regularly as soon as I put them out and so it's normal for you to see me going back and forth between different things and uh, keeping these vlogs varied and fresh and uh, that's a perfectly good way to go about it however I think um, the only problem is is I don't want it to become misleading for instance if someone clicks on this video expecting to learn a sketching technique and then all of a sudden they have me talking and answering questions about something completely unrelated then it would be kind of misleading and um, I think the best way to start going about putting these videos together is to sort of have them separated so I have a video surrounding the sketching techniques and then I have a video where I talk and answer questions and do a video just for that specifically but I hope you get where I'm coming from I sort of just wanted to share this with you and uh, as we progress forward with the videos and everything and um, we have a lot to look forward to so anyways I'll stop rambling now we can get on with this uh, sketching technique so to begin I'm going to start off by sketching some kind of landscape and use this as an example. This is a technique that I use a lot in my sketches when I want to illustrate trees, grass and all that sort of stuff. It's incredibly simple and it might not be the best way to do it but it's a fast and convenient way that works well. The main thing with this is the motion of the pencil. I'm creating small circular motions at random and these can vary a lot in direction and size. I'll put this in and out of time lapse so that you can see it in real time but it's pretty simple. The areas that are further away, I make these circular marks closer and more tightly together. Whereas the areas that are more in the foreground, I add a bit more of a realistic shape and shade to them. Also to separate different aspects of the drawing, for instance the leaves of the tree in relation to the grass below, I just use different shades by changing the pressure I apply onto the paper. I'm using a 2B pencil for this and I can get a range of different shades. But it's the motion of the pencil and the marks that it creates that come together and resemble what we are drawing. That's pretty much all there is to it. I'll go ahead and let this play out so that you can see it come together and then I'll catch up with you at the end. So there we go that pretty much wraps up this episode i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a like because it really helps me out subscribe if you want to keep up to date with all of the content i'll be putting out in the future have yourself a great day thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one